hope you're all ready to learn the next question in our catechism. Last week we found out that God created us male and female in his image to glorify him. Just like those statues in Lancaster, uh, we were made in God's image to show the whole world what God is like. And our question today follows on from what we learned last week. Our question is, what else did God create? Now you might have noticed that I've got my uh, chef outfit on today. And that's because I love to cook and bake and create loads of things in my kitchen. Do you want to see what I've made today? Great, let's head over to the kitchen now. Today I've made one of my favourites, brownies. And these ones are really crispy on the top and fudgy and gooey in the middle. And to make them good enough to receive a famous handshake from a certain someone, I like to add a few special ingredients into my brownies. I like to add both uh, milk chocolate and dark chocolate chunks into the mixture so that when you bite into them you get these little pockets of pure chocolate. And I also like to put uh, peanut butter on top and swirl it into the mixture because I just love peanut butter. I think it's great. Well that's what I've made today. But in the Bible, on the very first page, we find out everything that God has made. So let's go take a look at that now. Let's read a bit of Genesis chapter 1 together. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. God saw that the light was good. And he separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, the first day. Do you see what God created in the beginning? He created the heavens and the earth. That's absolutely everything. We read that he created the light, but that was just day one. On day two, he created the sky, day three, the land, day four, the sun, day five, the birds, and on day six, all the animals. God created absolutely everything. And do you remember, when I made my brownies, I had to use some special ingredients. But God doesn't use any special ingredients. He doesn't use any ingredients at all. He created everything out of nothing. And he didn't even need any tools. No wooden spoon for the land. No whisk for the sea. No oven for the sun. No, instead he just speaks. Can you see it on the screen? And God said. He just used his words and created everything from nothing. Now, as you know, I'm a star baker and everything that I make is handshake level good. But God's creations blow my creations out of the water. Do you see how good God's creations are? We're told they're good, 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 good and good. They're very good. They're amazingly good. Everything God made is good. Now I wonder if all of that can help us answer our question today. Great, here we go. What else did God create? Oh, oh no, we've got the gaps again. Do you think you can unscramble the words to work out the answer to our question? You've only got 10 seconds, mind you. You up for it? Great, ready? Go! Oh, how did you do? Here are the answers. What else did God create? God created all things and all his creation was very good. Ah, oh, well done everyone. Why don't you ask someone this week to see if they can remember what else did God create? But look at the time, it's now brownie o'clock. See you later.